It's coming to the end of the 2015 season and it's been a really great one for 80 GSPs. All the dogs have learnt new skills and put them to good use and those competing have had really great results in field trials. Knowing how much work to give a dog so that it can learn without so much that it will be spoiled is something that people regularly ask me about and it's a very fine line indeed. Jersey, here closest to camera, is two and a half but she needs more experience to be dependable and steady. <laughs> to learn how to hunt and handle birds, she has to be out working regularly, but situations that are too difficult or exciting could cause all sorts of problems, so I try and give her the jobs that are beneficial to her stage in training. At the first drive of the day, it's important to settle them all. I make sure that Jersey is sitting well away from me so that she can prove her steadiness and this indicates that she's confident and settled. She's at the end here. There's a lot of shooting. All the dogs watch and mark. I make Jersey watch the other dogs working. First Dora. Back. Back. It's great to let a young dog watch good work. I believe they pick Back. up bad habits by watching bad behaviour. Then it's Havoc's turn, so Jersey will have seen two good retrieves before doing her own. Now Jersey. She's a bit quick and excited and misses it. The scent isn't great, but by allowing her to work and as long as she's trying hard, it will be good reward when she picks it. They have to learn to persevere. I don't interfere too much, just a couple of times to bring her back into the area. The next drive is much busier. I always have the same routine in sitting the dogs up and letting them concentrate. Oh, yeah. They need to see where the guns are and listen to the beaters. They focus on where the action is about to come from, which is important for marking. Some lovely long retrieves on birds that might be alive but are not strong runners is ideal for Jersey and as these birds are hit hard it's exactly what I'm about to give her. 
The other dogs are made to sit while she completes her retrieve without interference. Later, it's good for her to work amongst other dogs, which will make her want to keep possession of her birds and hold them confidently, but they must never be allowed to steal from each other. Another retrieve straight away. I just wait for the distraction, so she is concentrating. Hello. The moment I see the bird in her mouth, she's recalled to get her to come in quickly. Now she's done a bit of retrieving, she will settle well to hunt about for runners with the other dogs. Here, I'm just reminding her with the search command, high lost. Sometimes things don't quite go according to plan. Jersey has gone on point here instead of bringing the retrieve in. But I just encourage her, she is still Jersey, learning. Good girl. Good girl. What a clever girl. Fetch it. She has a lovely find here, and it's a true runner. Having learnt to carry many different birds, she is not at all phased by the cockbird's strength and adjusts her hold to still carry it very gently. Jersey has done very well here, so lots of praise. But she mustn't interfere with the game bag. Any strong runner often makes a dog a lot more excited for the next retrieve, so it's time for her to take a back seat now for a few minutes and let someone else do some work. They all have another short hunt in the woods. Do make sure they keep their manners. Waiting for you at stiles, bridges, etc. mustn't be overlooked. They'd all love to go off hunting again, but I make them walk to heel. I never let them hunt around unless they're on a job for me. As we walk back to the car, Dora spots a cockbird runner. I make Jersey sit so Dora brings it back past her, which is a good lesson. Jersey has had lots of birds in the last half hour, but she must not think that everything is hers. Oh.
These days are really great fun for you and a dog. If you approach them with thought and care, they definitely won't spoil your dog for trialling work, but they'll give you the extra experience that you need to go on and make a success of it.